introduce our next speaker, Mr. John Penn. Mr. Penn served in the United States Air Force in Texas and then in Turkey from 1966 through 1970. While in the service, Mr. Penn earned the rank of Staff Sergeant. Mr. Penn taught in Monona for 13 years, was then a principal in the Tomahawk School District for another three years, and then spent the last 14 years of his educational career here in Medford as the Medford Area Middle School Principal. He's a mentor, a, mentor, a friend, uh, and a friend of many of our current staff here at MAMS. It's an honor to have him back here with us, Mr. Penn. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Um, it's an honor, as Casilla said, to speak to you today. Um, my role in the service was a little different than Don Grant's. Many of the staff members here know him. If you've ever watched uh, MASH on TV or seen the reruns, I was like radar. I was an inventory management specialist, which really is uh, short for a supply clerk. Um, but I did serve in the service, and the tradition here at the middle school is to, to honor our veterans. And uh, we've, every year, I, I never uh, spoke at this, uh, at this uh, ceremony, and much as Mr. Leonard is in the, in the background today. Uh, I never had the privilege or honor to, to, to speak. And it's appropriate to have this ceremony here because it's Medford Area Middle School. It stands for My Attitude Means Success. And, and much like Casilla talked about what Veterans Day means to her, I will speak of four themes or messages of what Veterans Day means to me. The first deals with service and attitude. The second one deals with pride. The third one deals with our current troops in Afghanistan and Iraq. And finally, the fourth one deals with the significance of the memorial wall. The first, the first theme about service and attitude that I'm going to share an excerpt for with you, for you and with you, deals with. It could be a message from uh, parents to their child, to their children. Could be a students to uh, a students hearing a message from their principal or from a teacher. It could be a theme of the eighth grade awards program. And the excerpt is, is this. I hope the days come easy and moments pass slow, and each road leads you where you want to go. And if you're faced with a choice and you have to choose, I hope you choose the one that means the most to you. And if one door opens to another door closed, I hope you keep on walking until you find the window. If it's cold outside, show the world the warmth of your smile, that your dreams stay big and your worries stay small. You never need to carry more than you can hold. May all your dreams stay big. I hope you never look back, but you never forget all the ones who love you in the place you left. I hope you'll always forgive and never regret and hope and you help somebody every chance you get. And you find God's grace in every mistake and you always give more than you take. Now as I look out, and I'm talking about service and attitude, giving more than you take, choosing to help somebody every chance you get. Medford Area Middle School students and staff have done this over the years. I look up at Mr. Mater in the, in the bleachers, and he was one of the first. He was planting acorns and planting oak trees. You should have seen the service project when he was incubating pheasants. You should have also seen the sixth grade students and staff down on Main Street trying to clean the windows to help out the community. Mrs. Brooks's students were out at the animal shelter helping there. So the Medford Air Middle School is known for service. You make a living by what you get. You make a life by what you give. And that's appropriate today as a message for Veterans Day. The second theme, the second point I want to make is about being proud, taking pride in this great country. And I'll, I'll read another short excerpt. And I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. 
and I won't forget the men who died who gave that right to me. And I'll gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today, because there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. Many of you may recognize that. But again, to stand up and be proud of what you do and who you are, and be proud of being an American citizen today. The third one, the third message, or the third theme for me on Veterans Day is to honor and recognize those troops that are in harm's way in Afghanistan and in Iraq. And the excerpt goes like this. And I will always do my duty, no matter what the price. I've counted up the cost, I know the sacrifice. Oh, I don't want to die for you, but if dying is asked of me, I'll bear that cross with honor, because freedom don't come free. So today, we're thankful and appreciative and supportive of the service and the loyalty and commitment of those troops in harm's way. The final way and the fourth message of, of today, of Veterans Day for me, is, is about this memorial wall. And I'll read a short excerpt. I know a man called him Sandy Kane. Few folks ever knew his name, but a hero, yes, he was. He left the boy, came back a man. Still many just don't understand about the reasons we are free. I can't forget the look in his eyes or the tears he cried as he said these words to me. All gave some, some gave all. Nearly 10 years ago, the veterans program here honored the Vietnam veterans from Taylor County who gave all. Today, we also remember the soldiers who gave all at Fort Hood last week. And finally, we honor today in this Veterans Day program those that gave all by the unveiling of the memorial wall out in the field. So then, in summary, the things that, so that you understand where I'm coming from, when you get retired, you get, you get to listen to a lot of music. And the excerpts that I read to you, the first one is from Rascal Flatts, My Wish. The second one is from Lee Greenwood's God Bless America. And the third one is from Toby Keith's American Soldier. And the last one is Some Gay Wall by Bill Gray Cyrus. So as we participate today in unveiling the Vietnam Memorial Wall, remember service. Remember giving more than you take. Helping somebody every chance you get. Second, be proud of your country. Stand up. Be proud. And third, remember the soldiers, especially those in Iraq and Afghanistan today. And finally, and finally, we honor those that gave all. Thank you.